Chicago. My name's Allison Klein, and you're watching the Witty City Report. Last time on our show, we discussed nighttime television shows such as The Daily Show and The Stephen Colbert Report, and the millennials' purposes for watching those shows. But today, we're going to talk about the one thing missing. Female hosts. So let's give it up for all the late night female hosts. Pretty recently, The Daily Show lost their host, Jon Stewart. Newsweek claimed that there was a huge push for a female host to replace him. But Comedy Central claims that they interviewed tons of people of all genders with no favor towards males nor females, and then they still ended up with the male host, Trevor Noah. Let me make this clear. There are no insults being thrown at Trevor Noah, Stephen Colbert, or any of the other late night male hosts. At least not from this crowd. Women don't want to take their place on television. They just want to share the spotlight with them. Vulture asked 37 female comedians if they would take advantage of the opportunity of hosting a late night television show. Some of them admitted that they would crack under the pressure and that they don't think that they could handle running the show alone. But several of them said that they would love that opportunity. Unfortunately, there's way too many barriers for them to go through and too many mountains for them to jump over just for them to get that opportunity, and it's not fair. And yes, don't get me wrong, there are several women who have been lucky enough to have received the chance to host a late night show, such as the late Joan Rivers. She hosted a show and it lasted one year in 1986. And yeah, Chelsea Handler hosted Chelsea Lately on E! for a couple of seasons. But what about the others? We need to go back to the idea that if you're funny and capable of doing the job, then you're hired. Instead of it being based off gender and having this image that only men can host late night shows. I know it might be a big surprise to some people, but women can be funny too. And why are we so afraid to try this out? The Daily Beast said that maybe if a woman is hired as a late night host, it won't work again. But that's the thing about shattering ceilings. Sometimes it makes a big mess. As it stands and as it stood for decades. But no one wants to risk having to clean it up. Even David Camp said, who's the designer of Studio Camp, asked how gobsmackingly insane it is that no TV network has had the common sense, and that's all we're talking about in 2015, not courage, bravery, or even decency, it's common sense, to hand over the reins of an existing late night comedy program to a female person. We need more women like Ellen DeGeneres, Kathy Griffin, or Tina Fey to get on stage, take over, and give the world of late night comedy some lady power. And who knows, it might be a little bit funnier anyways. Despite gender, people are people, and the world of late night comedians are doing a great job. But that doesn't mean that we can't strive to change the image of these TV channels and these networks to something that all genders can relate to. You've been watching the Witty City Report. My name's Allison Klein, and have a great day, Chicago.